Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Mewtwo Fan Nate, and I am your coach of the New York Noibats. It is the fifth week of the PGBL, and we are taking on Ominous Acid. And his I can never say that Pokemon's name, so we're just going to um try not to uh, mess that up. <laughs> um, he has a really good team matchup against me. Uh, I don't think his team overall is like super duper threatening, but again, like it has a really good team matchup against me. So I think there's a really good chance that we can just get bodied. Uh, he did tell me all the Pokemon that he was going to um, bring. So uh, like j just like right before this, so I was able to put them on the layout. So thank you. Uh, that does save me a bunch of time uh, with editing because copying and pasting uh, GIF files. Uh, afterwards is not fun so he has a couple different uh, rockers that he can go with I'm gonna actually just lead off with my uh, choice scarf uh, Tapu Koko uh, choice scarf Tapu Koko uh, pretty much just lets me um, get a u-turn off on on everything and uh, I think it's overall pretty does pretty well um, I could potentially just lead off with like Melanie because I think I think Melanie has a pretty decent lead matchup. Uh, I'm gonna lead with Coco because I think it threatens like Rabombi a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, I just want to shout, to give a shit, quick shout out to the the mug, the Pokemon mug, and um, to uh, to to the boy Quinto Beans for looking over the team he didn't really do that much um for me but he he did tell me that crook was pretty good to have on the team so i was like you know what we'll, we'll put crook on here you know so so shout out to quinto beans man so i'm gonna be able to get a nice u-turn off here uh it is super effective and um if he wants to go for like stealth rock or something like that's cool um I kind of want to like U-turn out. Kind of want to like see. There's a good like. There's a really possible chance that he like just fires off that like Z move, the psychic Z move for the trade. I'm gonna just go for the U-turn here. That does decent chip. I think he's like really really bulky. Um, I think he goes for rocks here. Um, I'm gonna go on to Crook, because Crook can probably live any one hit. And I kind of want to... Let's see. Let's see. What are, you, what are you going for? Oh, he goes for U-turn. U-turn of his own. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I can see him going out to Rabombi. Uh, I do have my... Um, see, I was kind of like iffy or not if he was going to bring Rabombi. Because I did have the um, the Bronzong. But, I mean, bro like, Bug Buzz is, like, neutral. So, I mean, that gets it's all right. But it's Spadef Bronzong, they're, like, still... Uh, it's still, like, it's, like, pretty decent, like, matchup. And just gets Gyro Balled. So... Like, I, I kind of expected the Moltres, yeah, in a way, just because I had no switch-ins. But he also has the X-Cloud now, which uh, he told me about very last minute, which was kind of scary. But I kind of figured my game plan was still the same. Um, my game plan is still the same. I kind of, the, the way he U-turned out made me think it's also a Scarf Mew. Uh, maybe trying to catch the Mega Beedrill. Potentially. Um, actually, let me pull up my calcs. Let me pull up the damage calcs. Um, Tapu Koko versus a, a Mew. Uh, don't DC on me. Um, I think that's a bulky, I think it's a bulky Mew. 
I think it did less. Alright, so there's Swampert. I know he likes AV Swampert. I think I have a pretty free switch into um, into my Melanie here. I think even if he goes for like Ice Beam or Ice Punch, I should be able to take it pretty well. Uh, but I should not say I think, and I should probably say, hey, I should probably check out this uh, this Calc because <laughs> um, I'm not max HP anymore. I'm um, I have a lot of speed and a lot of defense. Pretty much just to uh, make sure I can outspeed a modest X Plowed um, and high jump kick it. So let me type in uh, Swampert here. And let's just say you have Ice Beam. Uh, Ice Beam doesn't do a KO um, if you're not really invested. How about Ice Punch? Uh, Ice Punch would actually do less, wouldn't it? Ice Punch is going to do less. I'm going to go out into Melanie here. If he wants to fire off a Toxic, a Waterfall, whatever, uh, he might pull a double. Mmm, Melanie's so thick, man. Ice Punch, that'll do less. I low-key thought I was going to get frozen right there, but, like, I was also quite... I was also quite terrified. I was also quite terrified of a potential... See, I have, like, no reason to, like, not fire off a power whip, but I'm also just going to click U-turn anyway. Because if he stays in, I that makes me think he's, like, Rindo Berry. All right. How much would have, uh, how much would a power whip, because if this is his switch in to Melanie, um, Aerodactyl. Power whip did 58 to 69% to a Mega Aerodactyl. Um, I'm going to go out into my Ameliaton, I think, and I'm going to try to get up some rocks. Actually, I might just fire off a Moonblast instead. I think... Actually, no, 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 I really want to go for Earth Power predicting... Like, I mean, he could have Iron Head, right? Does it get Iron Head or does it not get Iron Head? I think it gets Iron Head. Um, let me see if I live it anyway. Iron Head... To a Ameliaton. Iron has a guaranteed kill. Um, he could think of a beer berry though. I kind of messed up. I should have gone out into Crook. Uh, let's scout for the let's scout for the Iron Head. Let's see. Fandango. Okay, this is actually not bad either. All right, so um, this makes me think that he doesn't have the Iron Head. That's actually, okay, so I know I said I messed up, but that was actually really good information to have. Considering he switched out, makes me think that he doesn't have Iron Head. Um, and I have no reason not to click Knock Off here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to click knock off. Because chip damage is huge. Um, I, I literally just need to get everything like a, just slightly bit weak. Slightly weak. Because if I get things just... 
just a little bit most of chip damage on things, then um, I can pretty much tailwind up with Tornadus. Um, I have the lagging tail. I can go for a slow U-turn into Volcanion, and then uh, Life Orb Volcanion honestly just clicks Steam Eruption against everything on his team. There's nothing on his team that appreciates it. Um, everything pretty much dies, unless it's a Salt Fest. Like Mew, uh, bulky Mew, um, takes a lot of damage. I just need to get a little bit of chip on it. Alright, so his switch into this makes me think that he's either like Colberberry or like Munium Z or whatever. Um, let's see. He's leftovers. Okay. Um, I think an Ice Beam is coming our way. Um... Alright, so I think there's going to be, like, a really wild Z-move from this thing. Um, and it makes me a little bit scared. I am, like, super, super bulky. I don't know if there's, like, anything, like, I'm going to, I'm going to calc, like, um, well, he's actually, never mind. He's not Z-move, because he's leftovers. Um, how much does an Ice Beam do to me? Like, that's, like, the thing I gotta, I should calc. Crook. Versus a Mew. Um, Ice Beam, I think, is the hardest thing he can hit me with. Um, and it does 44 to 53, so I think I can stay in here. Um, and just click knock off again. Ice Beam, Will-O-Wisp, okay. Um, I kind of, I, you want to know what was kind of funny about that? Is that there was a part of me that really, really wanted to switch into, um, the, the, the Volcani on there. There was a real part of me that, like, wanted to. So now that we're burned, um, what comes in? Probably the Swampert. I mean, I was defensive anyway, so I'm not going to be having a lot of damage output. But I think this still gives me a reliable switch into the Mega Arrow. Um, he could click Surf on me. Um... And I think what I'll do is I'm going to switch out into Ameliaton anyway, because, um, I think this, this gives me a good, like, alright, so if this does, like, 30-ish percent, then I think that's, um, specs. Um, but let's see. He's probably choiced in some way, because I didn't see any, alright, so hold on, explode. And you breaker versus my Diancy Ameliaton. Uh, I think he's choice scarf actually. I'm at one thirty three. There's eighty four percent. Um, so actually maybe, maybe he's not, maybe he is specs. Um, I think I can actually go for a diamond storm here. Uh, no, 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 no. let's go for, let's go for rocks. I have, I have the switch in. He might try to pull a double, but I think it's okay. Uh, 
I have Hidden Power Grass on two things, so, I mean, it's not like, I mean, it's, I think we're okay. Meliaton's still, like, relatively healthy. We're getting slightly chipped down on things, but it's alright, I guess. I need Crook just to switch into the um, Aerodactyl. I know he, like, I can't do that much back, but I do have Stone Edge. Stone Edge does a decent amount, I think, even if I'm burned. And it's a pretty high crit chance, you know, I'm not going to lie. Um, Aerodactyl versus a Crocodile. I could go for a synthesis here. I actually think I'm gonna fire off a power whip instead. Like real talk, I think I'm gonna fire off power whips. So burn stone edges do 32 to 38 percent, and if I crit. Uh, we're doing 49 to 58, so that's not bad. Um, I'm going for the power whip because he doesn't have like a really he doesn't have like a real good switch into it. Um, what was what died on his team? It was the Mew. I'm gonna get rid of the Mew. On there. Hey, okay, let's make the logo a little bit smaller. Put it right there. All right, cool. Ah oh, man, what a game, what a game so far. Nice and back and forth, I like this. How much is power up gonna do? I don't think it's gonna appreciate this hit. I think he's scarfed. I don't know if he can kill me. Because he doesn't have that extra damage. Um, Serena. Um, versus a Exploud again. I don't, if he's, alright, so if he specs, he can kill me, um, but if he's scarfed, he can't, according to my calcs, and I kinda wanna scout with that and just go for a synthesis, because if I outspeed, and, like, that, that's, if I outspeed, that's huge, because, um, I mean, I guess it would let me know if he's, like, max speed or not, but we're gonna see. Hidden power. What is this? Hidden power what? Okay, that was a little weird glitch. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone saw that with the HP bar. Um... Uh, I'm gonna fire off a power whip. Again. I think he's choiced into that. I think he's gonna want to switch. Um, I should have gone for the U-turn to be to be quite honest, but uh, I think that I think that power whip he struggles switching into it. If he switches here, I think he's, I think he's, uh, choiced. I mean, I know he's choiced. Like, I think he's, I think he's Scarf. Um. That could be Hidden Power Steel. Um. 
that could be that very well could be hidden power steel. All right, so we're gonna get rid of the X Blood there. Um, very interesting. So I think Mega Aerodactyl probably could come out. I, I just need to make sure I'm keeping Melanie healthy for the Swampert. I need to make sure that I'm keeping Crocodile healthy uh, for the Mega Aerodactyl. Just to get the Intimidate off is pretty huge. Um, and then we need the Diancy just to make sure we could check Rabombi. Uh, Tapu Koko um, can go for like dazzling gleams if we if we, if it comes down to it i think um hidden power grass also is like i mean i think still um like we're still in like a really really good position actually um i think we just win with volcania now i think yeah um I'm pretty sure that we just win with Volcanion. Um, I think I want a little bit more chip damage on that Swampert because I've seen him run... Well, he's not AV because he has set up his Stealth Rocks with it. Um, so, let me see. Volcanion versus a Swampert. Max HP Swampert dies. It does 100% minimum. Uh, hidden part like I mean that's if he's alright that's if he's like spadef steam eruption does 71 to 84 hidden power grass does 103 minimum I'm gonna go out to crook here just get the intimidate off um, I think that's just my best play overall Even though, like, or Dactylite. All right, so I kind of want to, like, I kind of want to sack something and then bring in Tornadus and then go for, like, All right, so that's not going to do too much. Uh, and I think Stone Edge is the play. And what I, I kind of would like to do is just get off, like, I'm going to, like, if he goes out in a Swamper here, I'm going to click Toxic on it. Because I want, the, if I get a little bit of chip damage, uh, I'm going to let him kill me. And, and then, um, and, and then we're, we're going to go into Torn, uh, Torn Eye, and then, like, Tailwind, slow U-turn, uh, bring in the Volcanion, and... Uh, just click steam eruption kill everything hidden power grass kills the swamper i think if we get a little bit of a toxic damage on it i think even burned stone edge crook does a lot to the ribambi yeah 48 to 57 is two to ko so and if he decides to kill me, like he like he sets up if he even if he just sets up once, like I that's fine. Like he can't let me go for two. Like he can't set up twice because I kill him. Um And if he sets up once then kills me, then Tapu Coco outspeeds, uh, because we're scarved, and then we, we get the kill on him. So Alright, so I'm gonna go for a toxic on this thing. Because I literally just win. Uh, 
Uh, ice punched, it's fine. And I think my strongest move is the knockoff, just because uh, I don't want him getting the leftovers recovery on me. I know he's not Rindo Berry or anything like that. I, I can't I can't go for a 6-0. Um, I don't have the the opportunity to uh, to do that. But the little bit of chip damage um, is is big. And do I die to burn? I don't know if I do after the uh, the leftovers. Alright, I think that's all that I needed, honestly. Um, Alright, we're going to go for Earthquake here. And he roars. Ooh, interesting play. Interesting. I think he just plays the roar game. Uh, I'm gonna go for an earth power. Because it ships everything but Mega Arrow, but um, when he switched out the uh, the Mega Arrow, it makes me believe that he doesn't have anything to hit my Diancy with. Uh, it just goes for the Ice Punch. I really want to just get a switch in. Okay, well, he brings in um, Excadrill here, and then I can let Excadrill kill me, and then I go out into... Um, then I go out to Tor. Because he doesn't... He doesn't um, go out to Rabombi on this. Like, he doesn't want to take the... like he Unless he has, like, Hidden Power Steel Specs. And even if he did, I don't think that kills me. Uh, hidden Power... Yeah, okay, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna let him I'm gonna let him knock me out. Well actually he could just go for like stealth rocks. Um I'm gonna click stealth rocks again just in case he like doesn't go for the rapid spin. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out into Brad and we're going to get rid of Diancie on my layout. Come on, Diancie, where are you? Ah, uh, there you are. All right. All right I'm going to go for the Tailwind here. I think ideally, uh, does he sw does he switch out for any reason now? Okay. Iron Head, and then I go for the U-turn. We are lagging tails, so we will. Um, We will out under speed him, and I just don't hope. I hope that he doesn't go for like rapid spin here. I think that'd be annoying.
but under speeding him tailwind if i if i go out into because he's not gonna like because i have my volcanion to outspeed a max speed aerodactyl and i don't think he has that much speed on his fandango i, I really don't even if he's scarfed, he outs he he goes to outspeed max speed B drill, and I would outspeed that. All right, so he withdraws. Uh, Millennial, I think that's the Rabombi. New turn. And I think I just go out into Volcanion here. I don't know why he switched out, to be honest. What are you doing, Ominous Acid? So I'm going to go for a Steam Eruption here. Uh, nice and 95% accurate. Please don't miss. All right, cool. So this, sh I, this should work. Um, we, we should, we should outspeed everything. We should outspeed everything. Like, there's no, there's no way. I don't even think he can outspeed a max speed Beedrill. Can he? He probably can. But, uh, he'd have to be running, like, max speed Jolly, I think. Uh, so let's take Rabambi off the layout. I was really scared of this matchup. But I think I I think my prep was pretty decent. Uh, I think for just staying up till like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got a message on Discord. Did he message me at all? Alright, so I'm just going to click the Steam Eruption again. Uh, this should kill, unless he's AV. I think even if he's AV, I think it kills. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying you can still miss your last one. <laughs> So, uh, I'm just going to click the Steam Eruption again, and if we miss, we miss, but eh, it's whatever. I think we, we, we have the Coco in the back, um, and that was the uh, that was this thing where I take that off the layout. Stonish, oh, he outspeeds. I'm kind of confused on how he outsped that. Um, did my tailwind peter out? Because I was supposed to outspeed a max speed Aerodactyl. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Choice Scarf. Um... So, uh, Thunderbolt should, uh, kill. We are scarfed. And, uh, that's gonna be a good game. So, good game to Ominous Acid. Thank you so much for the battle. That was, a uh, it was a nice little victory. Uh, I think, what was it? Uh, it was a, was it a 5-0? 4-0? 4, -0? 4, -0? 4 -0. Um, what else died on my team? Was, oh, it was the Volcanion. So, nice little 4-0 victory in, in my favor. Um, make sure you guys go check him out. Link is in the description below. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.